Welcome to my channel. I'm out on site and we are doing plasterboarding and in this instance I'm actually plasterboarding around roof windows. Now over the years I've fitted hundreds of roof windows, retrofitted them into existing roofs and indeed built new roofs like this for roof windows. Now a lot of different roof windows come with a lot of different rules and we're using a Velux type roof window, that's the brand name and you can get insulated collars for those which actually meet the new regs and all the rest of it or indeed you just get them supplied without. The majority I see on site come without that insulated collar and therefore we need to make sure that we allow enough space to get insulation in around the windows where necessary but what that means is that we have to keep our structural timbers away from the openings here and then we put in our insulation but then what that gives you is an area that you can't get a decent fixing so what I want to do is show you how to make something from nothing how to give yourself grounds after you've put your windows in and you've insulated so this window here I'm going to complete now so what I'm going to do as I said before the grounds, the structural grounds or the rafters are set far enough back for us to insulate between to stop cold bridging and also meet regs and also the area behind the battens in between the window and the rafter is also insulated so it stops any cold bridging, cold air and that sort of stuff. We've also got insulation behind this grounds here. This grounds here is just to take the wallboard that comes up into the groove. We've also got the structural opening higher up here. Then there's a massive insulation. Then we've got the grounds and the grounds will enable us to fix our plasterboard all the way through to go into the groove at the top of the window. So what do we do here? What we do here is we hang the plasterboard over so it's in line with where the plasterboard that goes into the groove of the window will sit. So this is a machined edge, this is a board edge of plasterboard. We sail it out, we fix it back to the structure. That enables us to put our new board that goes here directly into the window and give us a lovely reveal. But what we need to do is use a piece of batten, we're going to cut this in between, top to bottom, we're going to slide it in and then using the drywall screws we're going to hold it, fix it all the way through and that will give us the grounds we need. We've got an insulated void, it's all perfect and that will enable me to then push this one into the groove, that holds it against the window as normal and this side we can screw it all the way through into the batten and we've created some grounds and some strengths with nothing more than the plasterboard that's sailing through underneath and I think that that's something that you can do in so many instances as well so I'm going to get on and get this one finished. So I'm offering the batten up and I'm just marking the overall length then it's a simple matter of cutting it off. So the ground simply slid in, cut from the top to the bottom, and we use the plasterboard to actually secure them in place. It's really strong, really solid. Now all we have to do is measure our parallel strips. We cut those, angle the top and the bottom, fit them in, screw them back, and then we put in our bottom and our top. So to measure the sides, they fit right into the grooves here. So you can fit your tape measure right in the end here and you can actually measure across. So we've got about 230 millimetres or nine inches. Check that at the bottom. And we've got exactly that. 
nine inches. So we'll cut them just a little bit under that. And then the overall length of them, they're gonna travel all the way down. They're gonna have a plumb cut and a seat cut. So we need to measure the overall length of them as well and get them cut in. So we need them to be roughly 1570. So here's the board, we'll cut this in. We need some strips, just under 230. So what I'll do is I'll cut that, use the board edge. It'll be here. I'll take off this board edge as well. They're much nicer for those ends. Get the lengths done. Roughly there. Cut those off.
So now you've got your sides in, it's a very simple job of putting the tops in and as we're going at 90 degrees, they're fairly parallel, so it's a fairly parallel square cut. So I'm gonna cut those in, put them in and screw them up. Top and the bottom and then that's that job done. So that is the way you create something from nothing by using some grounds, using the plasterboard as you're fixing and adding your reveals in. It's just a really nice, straightforward, simple job to do. Also, you've got lots of chances here. For example, these ones here are covered well by there, so I cut them quite tight just for demonstration. But you could ease those a little bit, or you could potentially put the tops in, but then you've got to cut your angles in. So the next job here will obviously be scrimming all the joints, putting the angle beads on and getting it plastered and that's done. Thanks so much for watching, see you soon.